Hi, welcome to this video. So this video is a part of the popular Udemy course on hands-on natural language processing using Python. So if you really enjoy this video, then make sure to check the description section where a special coupon directly to the course is given. Thank you. Hello and welcome to this Python tutorial. So in the last video, I have talked about how you can create classes and also objects of those classes and call different functions inside objects and so on. So in this video, I will show you how you can perform list comprehension in Python. So what is list comprehension in the first place? Well, list comprehensions are, you know, simpler and intuitive ways by which you can create a list in Python. So let me give you an example. So I will declare a list over here called numbers. Well, yeah, numbers. And I will store here numbers from one to 10, right? So this is my list, right? So I will just execute it. And in the variable explorer, as you can see, I have a list of numbers. Now say I have to create a copy of this list, right? So I have to create another list that contains the same numbers. So how can we do that? Well, we can loop through this list, right? We can loop through this list and append each and every item to the new list as well. So let's do it. So we will have another list over here called new numbers. First of all, it will be an empty list and then we will loop through this list, right? So I will write here for number in numbers. We can write new number dot append and I will append this number over here, right? So if I execute it, we got a new numbers list, right? It also contains numbers from one to 10, but if you use list comprehension, then you can do pretty much all these three lines of code in a single line. So let me show you how you can do that using list comprehension, right? So this is a normal way, right? And if you use list comprehension, so let me just, you know, initialize this new numbers again to an empty list. So now I will write new numbers equals those square brackets because it's a list. And then I will write here number for number in numbers and that's it let me run it well we have the new list just check this out you know this is three lines of code and this is just a single line of code so what really happened over here so in this way we are pretty much defining what will be each of the numbers that will be stored in this new numbers list right so for each of the numbers we are pretty much going to have this so here number right number is going to be the element that will be stored in this new numbers list. So what is this number? This number is for number in numbers, right? So we are pretty much going to take each of the numbers from this numbers list and we will store it inside this new numbers list. And that's what we are doing over here. Number for number in numbers. So let's do a few more operations. So say we want to store only those numbers that are less than or equal to five, right? So we can write here new numbers equals number for number in numbers. And now we need to check whether the number is less than equals to five or not. So we will write here if number is less than equals five. And if I run it, well, check this out. Now this list contains numbers from one to five. And that's because of this simple condition over here. So whenever number is greater than five, we are not putting that number inside of this new numbers list. And now let's check that how we can create a new list of numbers, you know, based on the numbers in two different lists. So I will create one more list over here called numbers two. And here I will store one, three, five, seven, nine. Now, you know, I am, going to store like first of all what I, i'll just tell you what i'm trying to do over here so i want to select all the numbers from this main numbers list that are not contained in this numbers to list right so i will just select all of those numbers and put them inside this new numbers list so i will write here new numbers equals in a list we'll pretty much do the same thing number for number in numbers and you know I, if I just leave it over here then I will just select all the numbers from this numbers list but I also need to make sure that 
this number is not contained in this numbers to list so i can do it by writing here if number not in numbers to right so let me execute it well yeah obviously it's not defined because we need to run it first so if i run it now so we'll check this out we have all the different even numbers over here so we have two four six eight and ten and we have excluded the numbers right one three five seven and nine so this is one more way by which you can create a new list based on the numbers stored in one or more list now let's do just you know a few more operations over here to get things clear so say i want to create a new list by multiplying 2 with each of the numbers stored in this numbers list so i can write here number multiplied by 2 for number in numbers and if i execute it look what i got 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 and 20 right so similarly i can also do one more thing over here like new numbers equals number for number in numbers if number modulus 2 is equals equals 1 so in this way i am only selecting the odd numbers out of this numbers list so if i execute it i have 1 3 5 7 9 and i have excluded all the even numbers from the list so these are a few operations that you can perform and and now let's look at some of the generator comprehensions so i will let you know what that is so let's write here generator comprehension and i will write here square gen equals now instead of writing this square brackets over here i will write this ellipsis and inside of this i will write number double asterisk to you know this pretty much means power right so number square so this means number square and for number in numbers right and it should be in so let me execute it so this is a generator right this over here is a generator this is not a list now to get the list out of it we need we can just pass it inside of a list so we got the list right we got the list of all the numbers squared 1 4 9 16 and so on so this is how you can even store the different generators like this and you know later on you can just pass that generator into a list to generate the list right so we are pretty much done with list comprehension now before we end this video let's try out a few more different types of comprehensions which are gener you know the dictionary comprehensions so we can even create dictionaries like this so say we have a dictionary you know like apple then orange we have well yeah right over here we have banana so this is pretty much a simple dictionary and you know it contains apple orange and banana as its keys and these numbers are the you know the number of bananas or apples that we have so let me run it so this is our dictionary right apple 1 banana 10 orange 4 so what i want to do now is say i want to create a new dictionary and that dictionary would be same as this dictionary right so similarly you know the thing that we did over here right number for number in numbers we copied this whole numbers list into this new numbers list so we are going to do the same for this dictionary so let's find out how we can do that so instead of square brackets we have again here the curly brackets and inside of this we are going to write key colon my dict of key for key in my dict dot keys now if you remember my dict dot keys returns the list of keys right so we are checking that for each key in the list of keys of my dict we are pretty much storing this dictionary right so we are pretty much storing here key and my dict of key right so key is the key that we fetch 
from my dict of keys and my dict of key is the value of that key right so if we run this we should have another dictionary that's pretty much the same as you can see over here right so this is my dict and this is new dict and they are pretty much identical and now say we want to create another dictionary with all those fruits you know whose number or whose count is greater than five so we can create it like this we will write a new dict and it will be pretty much the same my dict of key for key in my dict dot keys and then we need to check if my dict of key is greater than five so if i run it i should only have banana and i have banana right because it's the only fruit with count greater than five and that's it so this is how you do list comprehensions in python you know you do the list comprehension or you can also do the dictionary comprehension and now before i end this video there is just one last method that is really important for you so say you have this list you know this contains i love or say it contains i then the next number is love and then it contains avengers so say you have this list and what you want to do is you want to join this list so you know we have these separate words over here right we have i then we have love then we have avengers and you want to join all of these words to form a sentence which is i love avengers now if you want to do it normally what you can do is you can you know declare a empty string over here and you can loop through this whole list and then append each time right each time you will add the word or the item that you loop through into the string right so you will get the whole string but we have a much more efficient way to do that so i will write here sentence that's going to contain the whole sentence after joining and here i will write a space and then space dot join and i will pass here the whole list so let me run it and we should have a sentence over here and we have it check this out this sentence has i love avengers so what really happened over here so you know this space was a delimiter and what we did is we called the join on this delimiter and we passed the list words so what it did this join function did was it added space between all of these different words and it returned a whole string and that string was i love avengers so you know instead of space if we pass here something else like a full stop and we write join and we pass the words and if i run it well check this out now this sentence is i dot love dot avengers right so this is pretty much how you can join a whole list to form a single sentence and we are going to need this thing later on at a project so that's pretty much it in this video you have learned a lot about list comprehension dictionary comprehension and also about this intuitive join function right and that's it and i will see you in the next one